Nearly every off-road light brand has a multitude of different light types, and within those types are a ton of different beam patterns to choose from. The overwhelming number of options can make it tough to find the right off-road lights for your application, which is why we put together this very general breakdown to help you find the right beam pattern for the vehicle of choice. The beam pattern of a light is the way the optics of a given lighting system harness the light created by the diodes and sends it out into the world. There's a bunch of different beam pattern types, all with different names from different manufacturers. However, beam patterns can be broken down into a couple of very general categories, all of which suit different purposes. First up are area beam patterns, diffused beam patterns, and scene beam patterns. All three are designed to sacrifice range and light intensity to project light over a wide area. Diffused, scene, and other area beam patterns are perfect for use as reverse lights, work lights, emergency lights, or as auxiliary lights to be used in conjunction with other off-road lights with more range. Due to their low range and lack of point intensity, these lights don't do particularly well with forward-facing lights, and it's extremely easy to outrun the light they do output when you're cruising along at 15 miles an hour or more. Area beam lights work best mounted in rear bumpers, roof racks, or underneath bumpers and body panels. The next step up in range is the flood or driving beam pattern lights. Flood and driving lights are a jack-of-all-trades beam type that works well as both a general utility light and a forward-facing light up to about 30 to 50 miles an hour, depending on the power levels of the light in question. These lights have better range and a more intense beam than a diffused light at the cost of beam width and breadth. While they're not as specialized as either area beams or spot beams, they can still get the job done, assuming you're not really flying around off-road or need a less intense area beam for getting work done without losing years of eyesight. Flood and driving beams are excellent choices for front off-road bumpers or as fog light replacements and factory lower bumpers. They can also make for effective reverse lights if you have tint. For fast late night trail running, they should probably still be paired with a spot beam for best results. Finally, we have spot beam patterns, which include spot, hyperspot, and racer beam pattern types, among others. Spot beams are designed for maximum range and point intensity at the cost of beam width and breadth. The huge range of these lights make them perfect for high-speed desert running and other extremely aggressive high-speed off-roading above 40 miles an hour. However, due to their extremely narrow beams, these lights have a pretty limited utility outside of fast off-roading. They don't make for particularly good reverse lights, work lights, or utility lights. Even in their intended forward-facing application, it's still a good idea to pair them with a few flood or driving beam lights in order to see what's going on towards the sides of the trail and your vehicle. Due to their narrow beam pattern, spot beams can be placed just about anywhere on your vehicle of choice without causing excessive amounts of glare, and they're right at home on hood hinge mounts, the front areas of roof racks, front off-road bumpers, or in stock bumpers. While having a certain beam pattern for your off-road lights is great, what's better is getting a couple of different beam patterns all in one place. That's where off-road LED light bars come in. Most off-road light bars feature multiple optic types which help you and your vehicle get a beam pattern that more effectively meets your needs than an individual off-road LED light alone. Basically, every off-road LED manufacturer has several different light bar types and designs, and the ones you should choose are going to heavily depend on your lighting needs, budget, and how much room you have on your vehicle, and that's a video for another day. The two most basic types of lights are dual row and single row, with dual row bars having two rows of LEDs and optics, while single row bars only have one row of LEDs and optics. Naturally, dual row bars output more light, but they're typically more pricey and not as compact as single row bars. Light bars are best mounted in areas with more breathing room, such as your vehicle's roof, grill, or bumper, whether it be stock or aftermarket. 